Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing some Wish watches. Today we are also joined by my special guest, my dad. Now I will tell you in advance that we're not going to have any links for these items, but you can go ahead and search for these watches. So without further ado, I'm going to let my dad kind of take over since they're his watches and he knows all about them. So take it away, dad. Hi, how's everybody doing? Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of the people that have subscribed to my daughter's YouTube video channel. Um, I like watching them. She likes making them. And for you, those of you who are tuning in for the first time, please subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up because if you give it a lot of these, I'll never be on this thing again. <laughs> so anyway, I've, I've been wearing a watch on my wrist since I was eight years old and I got my first Hopalong Cassidy watch. Now, for those of you who don't know who Hopalong Cassidy is or are not as old as I am, you're going to have to Google it. And over the last 50, 60 years, I've been wearing watches all the time, but the problem is, is you buy one watch, you wear it for a couple of years, you get bored with the watch, and then you go buy another one and give it away. But when Melissa started the channel, since she told me about Wish, I said, you know, I love watches, I love wearing them. I wonder if I can get some watches and make like 15 different watches so every day I can put a new watch on and that way I'll never get bored. And no joke, I have literally turned my mother and father into wishaholics. Like, I feel bad about it, but it is what it is. And just in case, my daughter's always saying to me, Dad, you talk too loud. I'm not yelling, I'm Italian. So that's probably the basis for why I'm always so loud. But anyway, I've broken down the watches that I purchased into three types. One obviously is conventional watches that everyone uses with the regular hands on it. The second are the LED type watches that have like little lights on them. And then I went for the completely out of this world watch. So we'll take one at a time. And two things to remember, one, if the watch description says boys and men, be very careful if you're a man and you want to wear it because they won't fit on your wrist. It'll fit fine on for a girl, and I know because I gave watches to my granddaughters and my sister, and they both love the boys' watches because they fit on their wrist, but for me, they don't fit. The second thing is if you want these watches to last a long time, because basically if you have to replace the battery, it's going to probably cost more than the watch you bought on Wish. Every time I finish at the end of the day with a watch, I pull the stem out. That shuts the watch off, and then when I go back to use it again, all I do is set the time and put the stem back in, and the battery's going to last a little bit longer. Easy peasy. So what do we got for the first watch, Dad? First thing we got be, is... I will be Vanna. <laughs> the first one we have is a skeletal watch. Now, it's a conventional watch, meaning it looks just like it has an hour hand and a minute hand and a second hand, but it looks skeletal because you can see right through it. And I've always liked the skeletal design. And this was four dollars. Yeah, and and that's including shipping. So, so the any, total for this was four dollars. Any price that I give you is the watch plus shipping, and I and it fits nice. It's got a beautiful leatherette band on it, and it's a little bit formal, so you can wear it anywhere you want. So that's number one. This back. next one. The total for this one was five dollars, cost plus shipping. This one is nice because, for people like myself who can't see very well, you've got some really big numbers, big hour hand, big minute hand, and it fits on a larger wrist, and it has a rubberized band so that it's it doesn't really. I can use it outside when I'm working, and and you can get it dirty, and you can just wash it with soap and water. That's number two. Number three is basically the same thing. And the total for this one was $5, cost plus shipping. But remember one thing. You'll see a lot of watches on Wish that have these chronological dials on them. Guess what? They don't work. They're just there for show. But it still looks nice, and it also has the rubber band. So theoretically, you can get it dirty and wash it, and it's nice and clean. Next. This is one of my nice ones when I go out. The total for this one was $3. <laughs> 3 bucks for this watch. It looks fancy. It's got a nice dial on it. I like it because even though a lot of people say, I can't tell what time it is because there's no numbers. You know where the That's dots me. are. That's my daughter, where That's the me. dots are. And it has a broken crystal, so it almost looks like the crystal's fragmented, and it gives a nice effect on the watch. And it has a leatherette band, too, so that one's not bad either. 
And the last one was one of the, this is the last one of the convention. And this one was $4 wow. total of shipping. Big <laughs> bucks. And this one is the same thing. It's like a skeletal one. I had bought it because it had just a different color, but I can't fit it because it's got a little tiny band on it. And then let's show them. So, and then Rob actually won you. Yeah, this and this one. is one of my favorite watches. In fact, let me take it off so you can see it. Rob actually won this one for my dad on the um, daily giveaway. It's pretty nice. It's like a wood finish. And it would have been like $20 if he would have paid for it. But he got it for free. But this is one of my dad's favorite. It's so lightweight. And he loves this watch. Yeah, and the thing is, it, it really looks like it's made out of solid wood. I mean, if you look at it up close, it looks like regular mahogany wood. And like my daughter said, it's as light as a feather. And that's another reason that I like it. All right, okay. so... What do you guys think of this video? My dad said if you guys like this video a lot, he has ordered a bunch of also wish rings. Yeah. And then he will do a video like that. Yeah, I figured since I have so many watches, I said, you know, I like rings, but I don't like wearing them every day. So what I've done is I've bought like 25 rings, and every time I change a watch, I put two new rings on. And I've got them from Game of Thrones, Batman, you name it, I got it. Now, All right, so what is the next genre, Dad? The next genre is when I was 16 years old, I spent every cent that I had saved, every cent, because I went to work at 14, I spent every cent on a brand new watch by Seiko, which had a black face with red liquid crystal dial. And I was, oh my God, I'm so excited. I got to buy this watch. So with every cent that I had, I went to save a lot. I bought it, brought it home, put it on and went, oh, wait a minute. This watch weighs about five pounds. Every time I'd pick it up to see what time it was, I was working on my biceps. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then, think it, believe it or not, this watch was totally defeating the idea of what's a wristwatch. What is a wristwatch? A wristwatch is something that you can immediately look and say, oh, it's ten past one. These watches, that watch that I spent all this money on that weighed 400 pounds, I needed two hands in order to tell what time it was. So I had to hold the watch up, push a button, and go, ah, huh, it's 110. Let it go, and then it would go black again. So really, when you think about it, it defeats the whole purpose of the wristwatch. But wait. So in memorabilia, uh, to remember the old days, I decided to buy one of these watches on Wish. So this was $2 total. <laughs> $2, but if you push the button, it tells you what time it is. It's, it's <laughs> lots of miscellaneous things. I did something with it. Oh, uh, uh, you anyway, moved it. Two dollars. Two dollars. But that was basically the same feature. All right, what else? No, no. I love cars. I love all cars. I have sport cars. I love cars. So when I saw a watch that actually looked like the dashboard on an automobile, I said, whoa, I got to get this watch. And the total for this one is five dollars. Now, this is a big expensive one now. It's five dollars. But hold on. Let me see if I get the right button. Okay. If you push this button... Everything lights up in order to, and you can see. I don't know if you see it, but oh well, you, they get the gist of it, Dad. And, and, and it's it kind has of curved the, like this also. Right. And it has a rubber band, so it's actually easier to put on and clean if you get it dirty. What else you got? So I got one last watch. So I said to myself, okay, I want to get something that's so weird, nobody will know what time it is except me. So I found this watch, and it was the most expensive one. Let me tell you, this one actually cost $17 on Wish, so I have no idea what it would cost normally. And what it is, it's a flow watch. And you have to look at the watch, and there are two flow dials, a thick dial and a thin dial. If you look at the thin dial, that's the minute hand. If you look at the thick dial, that's the hour hand. And no one except me seems to be able to tell what time it is. This is not a watch for me. No, it's not. <laughs> My watch needs to physically say what time it is. What time so, is that? Physically. <laughs> tell me what it is. So in conclusion, if you want to get a variety of something, in order to give you the ability to change them, not get bored with them, and not have to give away, like I bought a Movado once when I was like 30 years old, cost me like 300 bucks. For $300, you could buy 40 watches on Wish. Sure can. And they all do the same thing. And the one thing about having a wash that costs you $4 is if it breaks, it's Who gone. Cares? Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that I didn't have the links or anything. I just I kept saying to, to my daughter, I want to do a video on watches so people can see what they can get for the price. And finally she said, okay, but like I said before, 
If I don't get this, and I get this, I'm this. I'm gone. <laughs> Alright guys, so, did you like this video? If you did, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you guys like this and you want to see my dad all his ring collection from Wish, I'll be glad to do a video with him again. So, if you like have any questions or any comments, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if I can't answer a question, I'll ask him and get back to you also. If you haven't yet subscribed, feel free. Hashtag Road to 10K. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.